So let me get into it. Uh, I know Brick uh, got a chance to, uh, you know, speak on it um, on the No Jumper show uh, with Adam and DW Flame. Um, so uh, can we uh, pull that clip up with uh, with Smack uh, talking about it? So basically what happened right here, um, I was going into another topic. And as I was going to another topic, uh, DW Flame whispered over to Brick and asked Brick for a cigarette and not the regular way. He didn't ask him a, a normal way. He didn't say, he didn't use the term cigarette. He used a term that's pretty much disrespectful to uh, me and Brick's culture. You feel me? You feel what I'm saying? So um, by that alone, um, DW Flame, by you being a guest, and I wish you was here right now, um, on on the show, like on, on the show, by you yeah, being the guest on the show. On the way, right? you feel, oh, you probably, oh, you know what? Perfect. So I, I'll be able to uh, chop it up with you right here in your face. But um, I just want to be able to speak my piece uh, for the hood and, and pretty much speak up, you know, for myself. Um, first and foremost, when they were talking, I never. You didn't even heard, hear it. Yeah, I never <laughs> heard. What the fuck happened? I never I heard. I barely any, heard that shit. Yeah, I never heard anything they said. Mind you, when it when the clip was sent to me, I had to put my the phone my phone to the ear and still did almost didn't hear it. You feel what I'm saying? So that goes along to tell you, like, you know, what I'm saying, if y'all analyzed it and really looked at it, y'all would have know that I did not hear that. Because if I did, I would have definitely reacted and would have definitely. Um, Handled it, you know, uh, at the front door. You feel me? So, um, uh, with that being said, uh, I don't First tolerate. First and foremost, hold on. I ain't trying to go ahead. I'm gonna let you. Yeah, finish. I don't tolerate uh, no disrespect, um, like at all, because uh, I hold a high regard and and hold and have respect uh, from the uh, from the front door. You feel me? So, uh, I felt like that. Since the clip was pulled up and it was brought up, first and foremost, it was exposed by one of ours, supposedly. And they on his ass right now on the live, like I'm talking about as we speak Cutting on his ass hood, bro. right now. It was actually exposed by spider luck on accident. Yeah, well, right, type type shit. But the so, way that they emphasized it was it was it was a nigga from East Coast first, then it was it was uh the bitch had this nigga 600. See, but okay, for my my point right there, Spider Lo was looking at it from the standpoint that I was going into telling uh, Mikey or Josh to uh, pull, pull up, up the, to the pull Spider Lo incident. The Spider Lo incident. And you were in the middle of saying that we going over too many hood topics and you don't under. That was right when you was like, let's pull up something else because I don't understand what y'all saying. Exactly. Right. So um, we never. So uh, Spider Lo. So this is just to tell you around okay. what part of the show this incident happened. I remember when. Happened. I, okay. Yeah. But it wasn't no big deal. I'm gonna go ahead. Yeah. I'm gonna let him finish. Yeah. So Spider Lo, uh, he put the clip out, and I guess his, his that wasn't his intention because I don't even think he caught that. So somebody else picked the clip up, and then it was it was put out, and it, and it was exposed. You get what I'm saying? So my thing is. When it comes to hood politics, first and foremost, don't nobody want to talk about hood politics on the internet. We on the internet space, gang. Keep hood politics in the hood, first and foremost. If you're a hooster and and you got an issue with any hooster, it should be it should happen in the hood, hoodster. You feel me? So let's be real. Like all the internet shit, leave it for the internet. I'm in the internet space, bro. And the, and the last thing I want to talk about. It's some gang shit, gang. It's some gang shit because that's not that's not what I'm trying to show. That's not the image that I'm trying to, you know, put out there. But at the same time, that's where I'm from, bro. And I'm loyal to the soil. So at the end of the day, the disrespect that happened, I do not tolerate it. Um, I, uh, I felt even more disrespected because it happened right here with me and Brick right here. And, you know, I guess the, uh, the apology happened with Brick. And that's a misunderstanding. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, DW Flame is our is one of our boys. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna speak for myself. Myself, uh, I have family from uh, from Long Beach. I grew up in Long Beach. I have families from twenties. I have families from insane. I understand the lingo. I understand who they hang out with. I understand all that shit, right? So with that being understood, 
he know, I, okay, some people from the hood think like, all right, or he was saying it on, or he said it on purpose, or he was trying to play with the homie. I know, I know, know the, nobody. You ain't never met a nigga right. that play with me, cuz right. you niggas ain't never played with so, me. The dead homies, I know the dynamic of the relationship. Me. I know the dynamic of the relationship. So. I know the I dynamic of me and Flame you. relationship. Flame and I, we we been through a situation like that, and we we nipped it in the bud, and you know we grew from that situation. So from him being my boy, uh, you know I I know how to handle that accordingly. But from the outside and the, and the viewers and people that don't know him and understand what's going on, um, it, it, it's kind of a jab to all the hustlers because it's like, damn, you you say that, but don't nobody like out there ain't it ain't no nobody's pushing the end card out there. You get what I'm saying? So how is that even in your vocabulary? You get what I'm saying? So under but now going to what I know and what I understand, they do the the old blank. Because of the of the, of the rolling of the rolling twenties, they they do baseball games and they hang out and and so that lingo it, it, it transpired. You ain't never heard but at, the whole before. You feel me? Yeah, for sure. But oh, at, right. at, at the but at the end of the day, no, I do not tolerate that shit. Especially for it happening on this platform, we 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 want to hold a, a high regard to one another and show nothing but respect. If you go back and, and, and look at the episode that DW Flame came on for the first time, uh, Brick cleared the air and he said, hey, yo, we, we know bro from the other side, let's, let's, let's have a native tongue, let's, you know, let's be professional. And that's what we wanna do. We wanna be professional, bro. You know what I'm saying? We, we in a professional space. We, we, we're in front of uh, millions of viewers. So that's how we wanna be, bro. We wanna be professional, bro. So all the gang shit and all the ha ha key key with the gang shit, kill it. Let's let's end that shit now. I'ma handle mine on the back end. On you feel me? Behind closed doors. Anybody got an issue or anything about how how it, how it happened? Holler at me. Get with me. And that's that.